Hey guys, I got an interesting topic that is relevant for our day and age by a very spicy sub. <clears throat> People's yapping about responsibilities of projection. Majority of people are responsible as a rock standing in space, and the louder someone yaps about it, the more responsible they actually are. Don't let them gaslight you with the fake, with the take responsibility for your actions bullshit tagline. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is just well known, right? I mean, always those who <laughs> work the least say that uh, you should work the hardest, something like that. Yeah. And always looking for others to take responsibility for them, I suppose. In society, many people like to bully you and coerce you into adhering to the so-called responsibility and duties of being a respectable person. Yeah, but I mean, these shared responsibilities are usually not shared by all. It's always like some, there's like always, generally speaking, an upper class that's not sharing these responsibilities, but like trying to oppress others into it. But the older I get, the more I realize a lot of people, at least those who love to talk so highly and uh, mighty about being uh, this hardballer who seemingly got their shit together, are actually some of the most irresponsible and incompetent people I've met out there. <laughs> yeah. Examples of this dynamic in action. Many people curse you into car ownership, but are behind do in their car notes, licensing, registration fees, maintenance intervals. Don't get me wrong, I understand owning a car is essential for getting around. My question is if owning a car is such an experience I'm missing out on, why is it pushy about it? What? I mean, it's status and utility, I guess. Right? I, it's kind of an American thing, right? People might not be that pushy in other countries, right? In Europe, I, I say a, uh, a bike. Uh, public transport and maybe like some home delivery will uh, work for you just fine. But a car is still status, right? Even if you have no use for it. <laughs> Motivational speakers putting up on a front, then later bringing up their failures and excusing them or trying to smooth talk them. Hey buddy, what happens to the take responsible for reactions? <laughs> just be as responsible as you can and tell others to be responsible. I thought you were this rock head who was a soldier about everything by trying to so hard to excuse your failures. <laughs> There's literally nothing they can tell you other than do more and give me money and give me attention. That's it. You heard it all. And their claim to fame is that I work out sometimes. People pressuring you into being in a relationship when they didn't even have a successful one themselves. Don't even get me started on this one. I mean, relationship can be a source of happiness for, for many. But it's really not up to others to decide that for you. People judging your spending habits when they also be spending money on stupid fancy toys like luxury cars, makeup, expensive jewelry, or clothes. But apparently my video game collection is a waste of money and space. Okay, normally keep coping. Sort this up. No. I mean, what is the common factor between these? These are often things to impress others, right? So they evaluate your hobbies based on how much it is value to them. I mean, we went over what chicks like in guys, apparently, and it's like uh, reading books, working, and working out. That's pretty much it. If you have other hobbies, then they're like, oh, I'm probably not gonna like it. Or, yeah, that guy's just a goner. <laughs> I mean, luxury car, just trying to seem high value. <laughs> Makeup, I guess, trying to, <laughs> trying to be prettier, expensive jewelry. Yeah, this is just dumb, right? I cringe at how hard people try to prove that they are responsible. Being responsible doesn't make you respect worthy. It doesn't even make you special. Why yap about it so damn hard? I mean, because it's status, right? Especially if you're not responsible. <laughs> you just tell everyone that how responsible you are. <laughs> and, and But also you don't give a fuck about them. Because that's kind of the, the spiel with like systems. Like, they're like Humans just tell others to be responsible because we, we don't care about them. But also systems tell uh, the humans to be responsible because, like, the system is what we adhere to and the humans need to just fall in line, right? Especially if this a system doesn't favor them, right? Of course, though, people will do anything to surrender self-awareness and feel like they've accomplished something over others. Uh, I mean, people are not trying to uplift you. They, they're generally feeling to be superior to you. And whatever they have, they probably think they deserve it. Right? They're not giving it away. <laughs> but remember, you do not have to take the gaslighting and assume responsibility in this corrupted hellhole of society. Yeah, but like, is it responsibility? 
They're just trying to control you. That's it. Remember, responsibility is one of those words normies throw around to perpetuate moral apathy and act like they are in cha charge of their problems. Yeah, you don't have as much freedom as you as you think. You might think you have a lot of freedom, but there are things you you never do, you can never do. I mean, you, you might think that you can do them, but you never do. And probably you can't, can't even. And funny how, supposedly, as a society, we live by your problems, not mine, mentality. <laughs> but if they have a problem, it's like, oh my god, this is the injustice of this century. So, uh, our problems, my my problems, our problems, my problems are our problems, and this needs to be for, fixed right now. Your problems are my go uh, you need responsibility, I think. I still have you hear your continuous bitching about one's work ethic or their overall endeavors in life. They just want status, that's it. Ah, all the salty tears of motivational speakers and hustle bros, so delicious. I would say that just doing things that you want because you want to do them is fine. <laughs> and the personal responsible tactic has been used by big business to shrink their own responsibility. One of the best examples is recycling sand. Yeah, yeah, that, that's an excellent point. That you always tell others to be responsible. I mean, the strategy is, this is the master strategy, that you try to be as charismatic as possible, be as irresponsible as you can, and tell others to be responsible, just in general, but also for you. That, that's amazing. <laughs> this, that's, that's perfect. Is there anything that isn't corrupted by greed or capitalism? There could be. The super magical planting daisies and rainbows are charity. And some soulless fuck <laughs> fucking piece of shit would find a way to turn it into some horrible deformed homunculus. Uh, capitalist slave pig. <laughs> Christ. I mean, if that existed in capitalism, it almost certainly would be just a scam to get money. <laughs> in the first place. Responsibility is one of the many words that have been subverted of their actual meaning. Nowadays it merely means submitting to the system. Yeah, that's an excellent point. I mean, responsibility rarely means that. Like, imagine that you are currently, as you, as you stand, you are facing oppression by so many things, right? You have no choice. I mean, responsible would be rising up, but that's not what responsibility means, right? Responsible means obey, because you have no choice, or you don't have much of a choice, really. Yeah, responsible means obedience. Well, it's, well, it's just internalizing the flaws. So, like, whatever is the problem, you are the problem, right? I mean, if you don't think that, you also need to fix your mind. <clears throat> yep, being responsible is about getting into all those submission rituals and being portrayed as signals of higher social status. I think it's okay to do it because you want to, but not because others are kind of manipulating you to do it. That last par paragraph was the best part. Fascism has been successfully gaslighting humanity into believing that it's not the system that is flawed and rigged against the people. It's only failing because people aren't abiding correctly nor enough to its precepts. Right. Or in plain English, oh, you can't pull yourself up by your bootstraps. It's because you're not making enough effort. But the reason why it exists, because it does serve some people, right? <laughs> I mean, just take America. I mean, the Europeans went there, killed everyone, took everything. This is my stuff. I mean, we gotta make some rules. No, no killing people, no taking stuff, right? <laughs> the rules now exist. If you have any problem whatsoever, you're just gonna deal with it yourself, within the constraints of the system. It's never gonna be like, oh yeah, you need some money, box someone rich. This one gaslighting has uh, killed the concept of revolution and collective action. We are left. Thus, with a culture that is precisely what OP has criticized, people understand that it takes harmony and cooperation to build a good world, but no one is willing to foot the cost of selflessness and submission to collectivism that are absolutely necessary to achieve such harmony and cooperation. Cooperation usually gets the most stuff, but competition gets the most for you. In this way, people can safely blame everyone but themselves for not giving enough. Well, they themselves aren't giving as much as they could. Does that looking society away from cooperation? People hate competition hardcore, by the way. They always try to rig the system. <laughs> they kick away the ladder. They hate competition. I mean, I mean, the game is called Monopoly. <laughs> Music. That, that tells you everything you need to know. Bonus points for OP, correctly observing that it's self-responsibility stuff is just peer pressure for consuming the increasingly responsible products of dying and should-be-dying industries. 
it's never gonna be be responsible and throw over the government it's always gonna be be responsible and uh and get a job and do what everyone else is doing that is kind of working for them as as well as you can see humans have always taken the stance i've put up with a lot of shit so you must do they simply can't stand anyone who has found an alternative way of living which doesn't require them to put up with the same shit as they have to yeah but it's not everyone though so <laughs> the thing is but the peasants might argue with each other like oh my god i work a little harder than you like what the fuck does that matter right just look up in many cases they brought it on themselves if they want a life full of useless shiny things and extra crap they obviously they want to put up with a lot of shit to get that if you're not materialistic then you can have a much simpler life which these people just don't understand they see that as some kind of weakness through this anything beyond food water heat and shelter is just unnecessary bullshit <clears throat> this guy's kind of wrong in, in two ways i mean certainly you can appreciate more stuff but also the rule of these lands is basically power wins no mercy so i mean you can live a simple life but someone's gonna come and take it <laughs> they're just gonna keep rising the cost on you till, till you're forced to obey somehow and you can complain about it but it will not matter this applies to those who call other people lazy entitled or soft sensitive those who say things like that usually are the thing they're mad about it's projection yeah but then it comes to system it's never the casino that's the problem it's always uh you need to play better right manipulation tactics my friend humans try to manipulate you into embracing and worshiping their evil way of thinking as well as try to manipulate you into going down the evil path that they created this is why i don't listen to people but instead just stay the hell away from them damn this guy's uh 10 out of 10 misanthrope in this fucked up world humans are laughing stock they go around trying to preach shit while at the same time not taking their own advice or their shit they spew about don't actually they don't actually mean it i mean that's the whole point that's the whole point i mean i'm telling it to you because i don't want to do it <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention humans are hypocrites. Of course, all humans are hypocrites. They go around judging others when they themselves are no better. Also, they me measure others by their own stick. <laughs> but also, imagine that they're they're like 10x better than they actually are. I'm so responsible. My fortune was made by ancestors stealing land from Native Americans, raping, torturing, slaughtering, and enslaving them, and then doing the same to black people. <laughs> I mean, if you're Indian watching this in America... I guess you just need to be a more responsible. People who scream loudest about personal responsibility are always, always, always the people who shirk their responsibilities. They fought against wearing masks during the pandemic. They never returned their shopping carts after using them. They want to outsource all of their responsibility onto the realm of person. What? Mm -hmm. Respons so they can go through life never fulfilling their responsibility to others. I mean, I'm not, maybe they don't even see that they have it. But yeah, I mean, if you can, just strat strategy here. If you can go through life outsourcing all responsibilities, there's just other do stuff for you, and live in a system that serves you, that's just a good, good place, right? I would say real responsibility is purely selfish, meaning you know what you want and never betray your yourself for fitting into someone's mediocre frame. Hmm. I mean, yeah, people rarely mean it that way, that you're responsible to your will, even if it's not impressive. Humans are hypocrites, always have been, everyone in life has been a hypocrite at one point. It's just fact, most people don't have integrity, only hypocrisy to offer. <laughs> don't get me started on the big low. Damn. Pretty salty Reddit. And this commenter said it best. Responsibility is one of the many words that have been subverted in their actual meaning. Nowadays, it means submitting to the system. Responsibly means obedience. Yeah, do what I want or I just don't care. Something like that.